Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. These records show Ford lied about being a licensed psychologist. Huge cover-up underway. So it seems like Judge Kavanaugh's accuser has committed perjury when she testified under oath at a Senate hearing on Thursday. When Dr. Christine Blasey Ford testified under oath last week, she identified herself as a psychologist. And when she said this, she may have perjured herself under California state law. After she thanked members of the committee on Thursday after she was placed under oath, Ford opened her testimony saying, My name is Christine Blasey Ford. I am a professor of psychology at Palo Alto University and a research psychologist at the Stanford University School of Medicine. The problem here is the word psychologist. Ford may have misrepresented herself and her credentials. And if this is indeed the case, those are infractions which are taken very seriously in the psychological field and under California law. Here is more on this via dangerous. Under California law, as with almost every other state, in order for a person to identify publicly as a psychologist they must be licensed by the California Board of Psychology, a process that includes 3,000 hours of postdoctoral professional experience and passing two rigorous exams. To call oneself a psychologist without being licensed by a state board is the equivalent of a law school graduate calling herself a lawyer without ever taking the bar exam. According to records, Ford is not licensed in the state of California. A recent search through the Department of Consumer Affairs License Bureau, which provides a state-run database of all licensed psychologists in California, produced no results for any variation of spelling on Ford's name. If Ford at one time had a license but it is now inactive, she would legally still be allowed to call herself a psychologist but forbidden from practicing psychology on patients until it was renewed. However, the database would have shown any past licenses granted to Ford, even if they were inactive. Ford also does not appear to have been licensed in any other states outside California. Since graduating with a Ph.D. in educational psychology from the University of Southern California in 1996 it does not appear Ford has spent any significant amount of time outside the state. She married her husband in California in 2002, and completed a master's degree in California in 2009. She reportedly completed an internship in Hawaii, but a search of Hawaii's Board of Psychology licensing database also did not turn up any results for Ford. What makes Ford's claim even more suspicious is someone affiliated with Stanford University appears to have also been aware of the potentially damning use of the word psychologist and rushed to cover for Ford. Dangerous exclusively uncovered an archived version of Ford's page on the school's faculty directory. On September 10, 2015, the only archived date available, Ford's faculty page was saved to the Wayback Machine and showed Ford listed as a research psychologist along with her email address and office phone number. The most recent version of that page shows Ford listed only as an affiliate in the department, with the words research psychologist removed along with Ford's email address and phone number. This suggests the page was altered by someone very recently to scrub Ford's contact information and title after she entered the national spotlight. And the questions continue. Aside from potentially misleading the committee, Ford also appears to have violated California law. California's Business and Professional Code Sections 2900-2919 govern the state's laws for practicing psychology. Section 2903 reads, No person may engage in the practice of psychology, or represent himself or herself to be a psychologist, without a license granted under this chapter, except as otherwise provided in this chapter. Section 2902C states, C. A person represents himself or herself to be a psychologist when the person holds himself or herself out to the public by any title or description of services incorporating the words psychology, psychological, psychologist, psychology consultation, psychology consultant, psychometry, psychometrics or psychometrist, psychotherapy, psychotherapist, psychoanalysis, or psychoanalyst, or when the person holds himself or herself out to be trained, experienced, or an expert in the field of psychology. This foolish woman. In her attempt to take out Judge Kavanaugh may have inadvertently taken herself out. And if California law proves to be fair, which it usually is in cases like this, then she should be fined and banned from working at all in the psychology field in California. But since the state is now a banana republic who knows what will happen. Today the field of psychology is pretty much a made-up field in many ways. Not because of the science behind it, but because they are now an extension of the liberal left. They make the science fit the left-wing narrative. But one thing none of the hacks who currently run the field haven't been able to do is to change credentials. But I'm sure that now because of Ford's lies they will change them so she is a considered full-blown psychologist. It's the way psychology works. That was the news.
We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.